Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into some more of Asia's Phoenix, the one that only Miss Morris at Amon, and uh, Bruno Mars' evolution medley that she put out with Third Avenue a couple weeks ago. And a few of you guys sent this to me, and I just haven't done a whole lot of recording over the last couple weeks so i'm catching up on some things right now um, i'm excited to see what they do with this um i'm not like a huge bruno mars fan i he's very very talented and i like some of his music but i don't know everything in his catalog so like this medley i looked in their description and it featured like 15 songs all being crammed into seven and a half minutes so it's it's, it's a lot of music so i'm not going to be familiar with all of these songs but there are some songs in here that I do really, really enjoy. So I'm excited to see how they mash this stuff together. How, just to see how it all comes comes together. So let's dive on in and find out. Come on, heels. Come on, chunky heel. When I see your face, not a thing that I, I like this menswear ensemble. Pattern on the jacket. The whole world stops and stares for a while. Cause you're amazing. Just the way you are. Beautiful girls. That's a nice transition. Sing, Mama. You better play these drums, though, sir. I love this sport coat with just the bralette and the pants and the heels. Oh, such a good look. Ooh, hey, nice transition. Drummer, though. Sing, Mama.
And I love that this coat isn't just one solid um, pattern. I love that it's got these sort of, not really cutouts, but these angular patterns in here because even though it's like a menswear sort of coat, it kind of feminizes it because it kind of cuts in the shape and it's like, okay, mm, it's still big and baggy, but it still gives this sort of illusion of shape. Come on, girl, you better work it out in these heels. in that belt. Come on, Mama. Ah, Mama came to slay. Mama came to slay. Mama came to slay. So many things to talk about. Let's start with let's start with the wardrobe. Like I touched on it a little bit, but I love love this choice too because Bruno Mars. One thing about him as an artist, like he feels very retro, feels very throwback, and a lot of his musical choices that he makes a lot of the instrumentation like yes he's done some you know more current modern type things but there's a lot of his music that just sounds influenced by older kinds of music and it feels very retro and throwback and i i love retro throwback stuff um so i love this sort of choice to do this it wasn't really a retro inspired outfit but it fit it fit the theme for me um this this very menswear sort of ensemble um but still feminizing it again with having just the bralette underneath um and the high-waisted pant the heels and then you get, again the cut on the jacket the jacket itself felt like a very menswear sort of jacket like it, it didn't feel like it was super nipped in and tailored um but the design on the jacket made it appear as though it was a little bit more feminized um and it just gave the illusion of like we were nipping in the waist or like we were cinching things in and whatnot just with the way things were um placed 
um, there on the side. So I love, love the wardrobe. Um, I love the band, Third Avenue. Um, it's not my first time seeing them. I feel like I've seen them play with her before. Um, they're incredible. Oh my God, that drummer was giving me life. He was slaying the house down. And then the guitarist as well. Uh, but the drummer, oh my God, so damn good. I love the transitions, how smoothly we transitioned for the majority of the time. There are a couple points there where it was like, okay, we finished the song and we're like, this is an obvious transition, a little bit of music into the next thing. But for the most part, like we just kind of seamlessly song, the song, the song, the song, the song, the song, love, 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 love. Like I said, I'm not familiar with all of the songs in this medley, um, but it didn't matter because she slayed she slayed and medleys can be hard it can be hard depending on what songs you choose um especially when you've got like 15 songs in a medley oh my god remembering what you're going into next into next into next um and if you how you put the songs in a medley can either be like make or break for you um because like if you put too many big belty songs in a row yes it's vocally impressive but it can also be very tiring um so you've, you've got to be smart about how you arrange the songs not just from what part of the song you're choosing for the medley but also just like what stylistically you're putting next to each other uh, making sure that they meld or they blend well between songs between song and song and also just as a singer as a performer like you need to give yourself some form of like vocal break where it's like yes you're still slaying you're still delivering these vocals but it's this song is a little bit easier for you to do so that you can give yourself just kind of that little bit of vocal rest in the middle of singing before you get to this next song where you're about to go all out because you don't want to go all out into the next song go all out into the next song go all out into the next song because you're gonna kill yourself you're gonna be exhausted so i think they're very very smart about how they arrange this and gave uh, Morissette just a lot of vocal freedom. Um, there are a lot of dynamics being used. Her belts are gorgeous. The placement on her belts are gorgeous. The freedom in her belts, uh, it just sounds so easy. So like, even though she's not hitting the highest note in the world that she's ever hit, it's just still so full, so powerful, and so free on some of these belts where it's just like, oh my God, girl, sing, 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 sing. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, yeah, and one thing that I loved is the fact that I could tell, there were so many moments throughout this where I could tell that she was singing here. Because there's so many of these like live performances I've seen from any number of artists, and I'm not knocking them, you know, do what you gotta do. Obviously they sang it at some point. Um, but there's so many of these like live staged performances that I've seen artists do where it's like, yep, they're claiming to be live, or they're claiming to do these one take you know recordings or this one take you know blah 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 and it's like they're not actually singing there in the moment where the camera's there like they sang this in the studio recorded it maybe they didn't have quite as many effects or you know polishing on the recording so it sounds live but they're not actually singing it right then in that moment um so i love one thing i loved about this is that there were so many moments where i could tell she was singing there she was singing right there. Um, there was one point there where, like, I know how the song goes, and I expected her to, like, say some phrase, and, like, she almost went to say that phrase. She was like, <gasps> and then she just, like, the microphone was away, and she paused or something, and she didn't, she didn't do it. And there are lots of other points where I could, like, hear um, some of her more powerful plosives into the microphone, you know, expelling air into the microphone, and, you know, a couple of things where it's just, like, it's not... It was on the mad. It's just I can tell that she's singing live. So the fact that she's singing this live right then and there and slaying like this, like it's not like okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this in fifteen takes. So you got fifteen takes to do this. Okay, you messed up this part here. We're just gonna redo this take right here, and we're gonna have like she's she's singing live. I love it. I love it. Love it. Slay mama. Um. Yeah. I think that's the majority of the thing because like you know I could fangirl all damn day. Um. But yeah, I think that's the majority of the thing. So she, fantastic. Third Avenue, fantastic. Um, the arrangement on the med medley was very well thought out, very well executed. The the instrumentation, the band playing was so damn good. Her vocals were amazing as they always are. Um, yeah, and she looked fantastic. 
But yeah, so thank you guys for the suggestion. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If you'd like to see more of my Morissette reactions, you can check out my Morissette and Mon reaction playlist. The link is down in the description. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys.